Party's gonna kill me. I went to 20 bakeries and finally found a nut free, dairy free, sugar free, carb free, fat free, vegan soy cake, but apparently it's not kosher. <laughs> so, it's either back to the drawing board or find a rabbi to bless this thing by the Sabbath. <laughs> and now you're on oxygen. Well, that's just great. Here. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> it's open! Hey, uh, Marnie here? She's in her room! <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna hold that thing all day, or are you gonna let Papa have a taste? <laughs> God, you scared me. Sorry, sorry. I want to talk about what happened at the hospital. Oh, don't worry. It's all straightened out. I told everybody about the terrific new guy in my life, Nate. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. I told them you were handsome, smart, fantastic in the sack. Well, at least you don't have to make up stuff about this boyfriend. <laughs> so, I mean, how did they take it, you know, that you made up Raul? Oh, yeah, I didn't tell them that. <laughs> what? Well, what do you expect me to do, Nate? Admit I've created a complex web of lies over the past two years? These are people I do Secret Santa with. Their opinion of me matters. Then what did you tell them? I told them I was dating you and Raul. You're dating us both? <laughs> they wouldn't believe me if I dumped Raul out of nowhere. We just got back from Hawaii. <laughs> so I said I was very conflicted and I would have to choose one of you eventually. There's a choice? Well, I'm sorry, but you didn't make the best impression today. Apparently, you were yelling at everybody about the tea or something. I thought it would be a nice thing to do. Well, what do you want from me, Nate? I'm kind of in a bind here. Well, I want you to break up with him. Fine, then that's what I'll do. I'll just tell him I left Raul and his jet and his coffee plantation overlooking Caracas for you. <laughs> they would never believe that he's perfect. They'd think I was insane. <laughs> How could they possibly think that? Keep it up. You're just handing this thing to Raul. Fine, fine. You know what? Go with Raul. But don't expect me to be here when he's done with you. <laughs> what am I saying? So, Mama... <laughs> You didn't happen to play that CD I sent you, did you? <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you played it for the Reverend, too, did you? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, so, um, um, mm, yeah. I'm sure he does want to speak to me after church this weekend. <laughs> well, look, I gotta go. Gotta love you, too, Mama. Did you ask what she was wearing? <laughs> Why are you all up under me? Let me get you a girlfriend to keep you up out of my face. Yeah, well, we're not exactly speaking right now. Not until she ends it with Raul. She's cheating on you? Damn. I know somebody who can take care of this guy if you're interested. <laughs> okay, it's me. No, there's no one to take care of. He's not real. Who's not real? Raul. He's pretend. She made him up. There's no such person. Oh, man, what the hell? Then what's the problem? The problem is I'm in some sick competition with a figment of her imagination, and I'm losing. You know what you gotta do? You gotta get your own figment and tell him all this crap, because I got my own problem. Can you believe Nate? He expects me to end a two-year relationship just like that. Yeah, Mar. Raul's not real. I know. go you're not my mother <sighs> Nate's just so stubborn and bossy he was really bossy like that 
Yes, they are very different. <laughs> Look, Mark, what's going on here? Are you getting hinky about Nate? No, God, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, okay, let's work it through. All right, now, on this side, we have Raul. He is foreign, low maintenance, and not bossy. Okay, and on this side, we've got Nate, who is real. I know, and I love that about him. Just that I've gotten strangely attached to Raul. I guess he's just always been there as a fallback, you know? And if I let go of him, then what? Well, then you just have Nate, who, as I've previously stated, is real. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. This is silly. Why is he even putting up with this? I should call him right now and tell him... <laughs> oh, my God, are you okay? No, oh, I tripped over the clown's stupid bike. <laughs> Morning. I got Tessa's message. Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't hurt that bad. But don't say anything. I'm trying to score some Vicodin. <laughs> I I'm sorry about No, 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 no. It's my fault. I'm sorry. All right. You guys probably want to be alone, so I'm going to go get a little air. So how much for a little air? Hey, Marty. Listen. Um, just so you know, I didn't realize he was coming, so when you were admitted, I called Raul. You called Raul? Yeah. He's on his way. Uh, Marnie, who's on his way? I don't know. 